Hey, good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. This is going to be the next NFL video of the day of Nathaniel Hackett going to the Denver Broncos, the OC from the Green Bay Packers, going to the Denver Broncos as their next head coach. Please continue to subscribe down below, up above on the Easy Juice widget at the end to help us get to 200 by the end of February. But Nathaniel Hackett. Um, he obviously worked out very well as an offensive coordinator uh, with the Green Bay Packers and had a good relationship with Aaron Rodgers. I obviously think Packers fans are probably hoping he stayed there for the days of Jordan Love and him starting his career, but that ain't going to be the case. He's going to be out there in Denver, as they likely are going to be one of the teams to draft a quarterback, and we'll have to see what he does with whoever they bring in in the quarterback room via the draft, since it seems like, as I said, they're going to likely be one of the teams to draft a quarterback. So unlike the Chicago Bears, who went with the defensive option of Matt Leberfless, LeBerf, excuse me, um, they went with the offensive option the Denver Broncos did of Nathaniel Hackett. I don't think he's coming in. Uh, at all to be able to try to figure out Drew Locke. I feel like Drew Locke is just a backup quarterback. I don't think that's um, whatsoever the case at all here. It, 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 but I think he's a he's a hire that I think was mentioned a little bit more than like Matt Burfless, like I kind of said in the video. Uh, he 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 it had other guys ahead of him if you ranked like top five of guys you would have expected to get hired. I don't think anybody would have had a Matt Burfless near that top five, I don't think most necessarily would have had, um, would have had, uh, Nathaniel Hackett on there either, but he would have been much closer because he's been mentioned before because of his offensive coordinator days with, um, other teams as well, like Jacksonville, plus, um, his success, obviously, with the Green Bay Packers and with, with one of the goats of the league in Aaron Rodgers and them having, the uh, good relationship and so forth that helped Rodgers to have MVP seasons and might, again, have an MVP season. So I think that obviously plays bigger where that's also easier to measure, right? Where um, you, you're seeing one guy in Aaron Rodgers that's having a great effect. So that's why Nathaniel Hackett's getting all the props worth of birthless. You're not going to be able to just see one guy carry an entire defense, so to speak. So... Um, that plays a little bit of a different effect there, but I do think this hire isn't as out of left field um, by any imagination compared to the one of a birthless, which was more just not even talked about at all. Um, th this hire makes sense to me because the Denver Broncos need help big time when it comes to their offense. Uh, their, their offense, uh, to say it's been... Uh, suspect might be an understatement, but yeah, the, the offense has been suspect uh, in Denver, and I think bringing in a guy that's an offensive-minded um, player makes all the sense in the world. You have Drew Locke. I don't think they brought him in to try to figure him out. I think he is a backup quarterback. Maybe Teddy will be a guy that he gets the best out of while he stays, so you have somebody develop that you draft, since I do think the Denver Broncos will be one of the teams even in not the deepest quarterback draft, they will take advantage and try to develop one of the catch in this draft because they really need quarterback help. And I think Nathaniel Hackett, from that sense, for them, makes perfect sense. Where Matt Burfless for the Bears, that's why I gave him a B- minus to a B. It's not necessarily, it's more of a one and out of left field ta um, signing and also two, more of a bigger question mark uh, signing where Nathaniel Hackett has had more of a reputation of being a successful offensive coordinator and bringing an MVP season to one of the GOATs and all that, yada, yada, yada. But yes, and again, that is easier to measure. But this one I would put more on the B-plus uh, category of the signing. I'm still not going to put it in the A categories because there's other guys that I would have had on my top three, top five, even coaching hiring list of people like the enemies of the world, the left witches of the world, even Ray Morris. Like there's different guys in there that would have been probably in my head before I would have went, oh yeah, uh, Rogers offensive coordinator. Cause we also have to remember Rogers is that dude. So he's also doing that though. So he's putting them in great spots to succeed, but Aaron Rodgers is also just that dude. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what Hackett can do. I do think this hire, um, has more, um, not predictability to it, but makes a little bit more sense in, in, in my mind because it's not as out of left field as the way a birthless was, but 
We'll have to see what Nathaniel Hackett's able to do with the Denver Broncos. They obviously need to have their offense get going big time in order to have any success. Um, and they're a team that maybe with this guy and with drafting a quarterback, he can bring success to the next guy. He won't be in Green Bay like I'm sure some fans want it for the Jordan Love era. Because what does this mean for Aaron Rodgers? He might be more likely to leave now because the dude that helped him with the offense ain't there anymore. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please can subscribe down below or above in the easy to use widget. We have Nathaniel Hackett um, going to the Denver Broncos as their head coach. If you want to check out my video on a mat of Burfless, that'll be linked at the end of this. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the NFL playoffs.